If you're stuck at home, it doesn't mean you cannot achieve greatness. Why not break a Guinness World Records title? Please share your efforts with the hashtag GWR challenge. Don't worry if you can't follow the guidelines exactly. We'd love to see your own take on these challenges as well. To break these world records, you will need skill, determination, and household items. This record is for the most sticky notes on the face in 30 seconds. It may seem self-explanatory, but there are a few guidelines that need to be followed. Sticky notes can be attached to the forehead, cheeks and chin, down to the jawline and top of the neck, but must not be attached to the eyelids or ears. Sticky notes attached to the hair will not be counted. Sticky notes must be placed on the face one at a time. All of the sticky notes must stay stuck to the face for a minimum of 10 seconds after the 30 second time period is over. Any sticky notes which fall off during this time must be deducted from the final total. The record is currently held by Silvia Saba from Italy with a total of 38 sticky notes. You'll be seeing a lot of Silvio in this video. Okay. Get your timers ready. This is the record for the longest duration to keep three balloons in the air. These balloons must be filled with air only. Don't sneak any helium in. The participant must start by holding the three balloons in their arms. The time starts as soon as the third balloon has been released from the arms of the contestant. The balloons must only be touched in order to keep them floating in the air. The participant must not hold on to them for extended periods of time. If a balloon touches any other item or object apart from the contestant's body, such as the floor, a table, or another person, then the attempt is over. You'll need patience and nerves of steel to beat the current record of 39 minutes and 39 seconds set by Abi Naba Tangerman from the Netherlands. We have finally found a use for that CD collection with the fastest time to flip and catch 10 CDs. To attempt this record, the 10 CDs must be placed in a row so that the edge of each CD protrudes over the edge of the table. They must be at least 10 centimeters, that's 3.94 inches, apart. Only one CD may be flipped at a time using one hand. The other hand must be kept behind the challenger's back for the duration of the attempt. The CDs must be flipped vertically by the back of the hand in an upward movement. A clean catch must be made without any juggling movement. The CD must have turned 180 degrees. The CDs cannot touch the table before being caught. You need to be flipping fast to beat Silvio Saba's time of 6.63 seconds. Now for a good record to try before a romantic dinner. It's the fastest time to set a dinner table by a team of two. The table must be completely empty when the attempt starts. All items used to set the table must be no closer than a meter to the table when the attempt starts. Each category must be placed together. Glasses in one place, cutlery in the other, etc. The table must be fitted with a tablecloth. The finished table must have four place settings, all consisting of dinner plate, bread and butter plate, soup bowl, dinner knife, butter spreader, salad fork, dinner fork, dessert fork, teaspoon, soup spoon, napkin, red wine glass, white wine glass, water goblet. Each of the four place settings must be set up as in this picture. Hmm, perfect. Two candles must be placed in the middle of the table. The candles must be lit last. The table should look professional and ready for dining. Make sure the only breaking you do is of the current record of 1 minute 5.10 seconds set by Germans Andre Uthoff and Patrick Rogosch. 
One for the tea lovers. It's the most tea bags thrown into mugs in 30 seconds. The maximum diameter of mugs used should be 8.5 centimeters. That's 3.34 inches measured from the outer corner of the mug. The table used must have a minimum height of 70 centimeters. That's 2 feet 3.55 inches. The throwing line must be exactly 1.5 meters, that's 4.9 feet, from the line of the mugs. Single serving tea bags can be used for this attempt, and they can all be used for a nice cup of tea afterwards. Mugs must be targeted in sequential order, starting with one of the end mugs. Only one tea bag is allowed per mug. Ashrita Foreman from the USA bagged the record with a total of seven tea bags mugged in 30 seconds. Yes. All right, we just bagged the record by one. You could also use those mugs to attempt the most mugs held in one hand. Please put some pillows down before you attempt this one. Each mug must have a capacity of at least 350 milliliters. That's 12 fluid ounces. The mug can be made of any type of material as long as the mug functions in the same manner as a normal standard mug, only one type of mug is allowed to be used during the attempt. An assistant may hand mugs to the participant, but may not put the mugs on or take the mugs off the stack. After the contestant feels that he or she cannot hold any more mugs, he or she must walk a distance of at least 2 meters, that's 6 feet 7 inches, and put the mugs down without breaking them. Your free hand must not touch the stack during the two meter distance. You might need to empty your cupboards to beat Rob Clark from the UK. He was able to hold on to an astonishing 21 mugs. 21! <laughs> Remember fidget spinners? Let's dust them off for the tallest tower of fidget spinners built in one minute. All the fidget spinners must be stationary, not spinning, before the attempt begins. Once the attempt begins, each fidget spinner must be moved and added to build a single tower. Before another fidget spinner is added, the previous fidget spinner must be spinning. Each fidget spinner can be spun before being placed onto the tower as it sits on the top of the tower. Once a fidget spinner has been placed and begun spinning, you are not allowed to touch it to continue the spinning. Once the minute time frame has ended, all fidget spinners must continue to spin for a further 10 seconds for the record to count. You'll need to have a big collection to beat Rocco Mercurio's record of 10 fidget spinners. Turn your Lego into a world record with the tallest Lego crisscross tower built in 30 seconds, one hand. First, find as many classic 2x4 Lego bricks as you can and a base plate. Then begin the attempt with one hand flat on the table's surface, the other hand behind your back. When the time starts, participants may only pick up one brick at a time to add onto the stack. Participants may only touch the brick they are adding to the stack and cannot touch or steady the rest of the stack. The record is based on the number of levels of a single crisscross structure made with a standard height brick. In order to be counted, the structure must remain standing unsupported for 5 seconds after the 1 minute time frame has concluded. No glue allowed. Now, if you have another member of the household who just can't beat your record, then why not join forces for the tallest Lego crisscross tower built in 30 seconds by a team of two? One hand. All the same rules apply, but you must alternate your brick placement. Why not make it the entire household with this attempt for the tallest Lego tower built in 30 seconds by a team of four? The solo record to beat is 30 blocks set by, you guessed it, Silvio Saba. The, the team of two record was set by Juliana Javoska from Macedonia and Silvio Saba. Perfecto. 
You need zero distraction if you want the record for the longest time to control a table tennis ball on a table tennis bat handle. The rules are simple. At a given signal, the challenger must begin bouncing the ball on the base of the bat handle and must continue to do so for as long as possible. The ball must be kept in continuous motion and can at no time touch the floor or any other part of the bat. When the ball either comes to a stop or touches the floor, the attempt is over. He may not look happy, but Sha Shu Sheng from China achieved the record with a time of 18 minutes and 44 seconds. Next up, a pair of records to challenge your chopstick skills. First up is a method for breaking a record and saving money. Fastest time to deposit 20 coins into a piggy bank using chopsticks. Any commercially available piggy bank can be used as long as the depositing slot is no larger than 5 millimeters, that's 0.2 inches width, and 4 centimeters, that's 1.6 inches in length. Standard wooden chopsticks must be used. The coins must be placed behind a clearly marked line that must be a minimum of 15 centimeters, that's 6 inches, away from the piggy bank. Only one hand is to be used for this attempt. Participants must start with the designated hand flat on the table and their other hand behind their back. The chopsticks must also be placed on the table. Only one coin is permitted to be picked up and moved at any one time. Mm, has the record with a time of 27.25 seconds. There is also an alternating team of two variation of this record, also held by Silvio and his companion Stefano Mariani, also from Italy. Okay. Okay. If you're not good at building towers, try taking one apart by attempting the most Jenga blocks removed in one minute. For this one, a standard 54 block, 18 story Jenga tower must be used and the rules for Jenga must be followed when assembling the tower. Only one hand can be used during the attempt. Participants must start with one hand behind their back and the other flat on the table surface. Only one block at a time is permitted to be picked up and moved. The participant may touch blocks to find a suitable one before choosing which blocks to move. Once a block has been selected, it must be balanced on top of the tower. The tower must be built in accordance with the rules. In other words, always complete a three block story before starting a higher one. Stop, stop. The attempt stops when the rules of Jenga are not followed, if the tower falls down, or when the one minute is over. The record to beat is 21 pieces removed, achieved by Silvio Saba. If you hadn't guessed it, Silvio Sabo holds more records than anyone else. Here he is in our last record doing what he does. The fastest time to throw 10 soft toys into a target. The target for the record must be a horizontal circular opening. The maximum diameter of the opening of the container is 40 centimeters. That's one feet, 3.75 inches. The soft toys used for the attempt must be commercially available and unmodified. The dimensions of the soft toys must have a minimum length of 15 centimeters, that's 5.91 inches, and a minimum width of 10 centimeters, that's 3.94 inches. The target container must be placed on the same floor level as where the challenger is standing to attempt the record. The minimum distance between the challenger and the target must be 3 meters. That's 9 feet, 10.11 inches. The challenger 
may begin the attempt with a single soft toy in their throwing hand and any number of soft toys in the other hand. More soft toys can be stacked on a podium, table, or similar surface near the challenger. Only one soft toy may be thrown at one time. An assistant is permitted to replace the container with another container to prevent overflowing of the soft toys upon the challenger's request, but the clock must not stop. The time count stops when the challenger raises both of their hands once they are finished throwing 10 soft toys and the 10th toy enters the target. Have you got what it takes to beat Silvio's record of 10 soft toys in 13.63 seconds? Well, plenty of skills to be honing there. Please share your attempts using the hashtag GWRChallenge on any platform. We love to see your triumphs, your fails, and your creativity. And if you really think you have what it takes to break a Guinness World Records title, you can find out how to officially submit your evidence with the link in the description. Good luck. Maybe you could be the next Silvio Saba. Low battery. Or maybe not. Perfetto.